welcome back to my channel it's rachel today i'll be sharing with you ways to style my favorite aritzia pants of all time the tie front pants so i have three pairs of tie front pants to style today and everything that i'm styling it with today are going to be aritzia pieces to give you guys inspo for you know mixing and matching aritzia clothes so if you guys find this helpful please give me a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel let me know which outfit was your favorite and let me know how you guys style the gelade Aritzia's tie front pants are literally the most versatile pants ever. They are a classic pair of dress pants with a removable tie. So you can wear it with the tie and without the tie and there's different ways you can tie the tie. And that's why I love how versatile the piece is. It goes so well with so many different outfits. So I'm going to be showing you the ways that I wear these pants. Majority of the time I wear these pants to work because they are dress pants but you can also definitely wear them casually and I've definitely worn them before even when I was in school so definitely a great investment piece I have three pairs of tie front pants as well as one pair of tie front shorts I got my first pair back when they were called the gelade pant and I believe they changed the fit a little bit but it's more or less still the same and you'll see that when I try them on they basically still fit exactly the same on me so for reference, I'm 5'3 and about 115 pounds. I say I'm 115 pounds in all my videos, but um, when I weigh myself, I'm actually around like 112 pounds. But you know, since I just ate dinner and I'm filming, just pretend I'm 115 pounds. I buy all of my tie front pants and tie front shorts in this size 4 and they fit me perfectly. Um, the sizing is a little bit, I wouldn't say it's completely consistent across the years because I did buy these throughout the years and I found that uh, one of the pairs that I bought, um, it fits a little bit smaller than some other pairs but overall the sizing isn't too off, like I still fit into a size 4, just some of them are a little bit more snug than the others. So without further ado, let's get started. So right now I'm styling it with the tie front blouse. Yeah, I know it sounds a little bit weird styling the tie front pants with the tie front blouse, but it totally works because I just don't leave the tie on one of them. So for example, right now I am wearing the tie front blouse without tying the tie at the bottom. So I basically, I just, with the t I have the tie at the bottom, but I just tuck it in to the pants so that it looks like a regular blouse. So another way you can change up this outfit with the same items is to remove the tie from the tie front pants and then tie the tie front blouse. The pants work really well and they look really nice without the tie as well because it's just a classic pair of dress pants. Now I'm styling this pair with the I Call This Sweater by Wilfred. Yeah. The sweater kind of looks like a backwards plunge front cardigan. So this is the second pair of tie front pants that I bought. It's in the same Japanese crepe fabric as the original pair, but I got these when they changed the name from gelade pant to the tie front pant. And to me, the fit seems exactly the same. I can't really tell a difference, even though they say that they changed it a little bit. Also in a size four, I'm pairing this with the Murphy long sleeve blouse. This is my go-to outfit when I don't know what to wear that day because this outfit is so simple. I just throw on a blouse and throw on a pair of pants. There's no need to iron a seam either of these because they don't wrinkle. So this is a very effortless look. So 
because I look out of wear when I have no idea what I want to wear that day. Now I'm pairing this with the Wilfred Heinen sweater. So this is a crop sweater and these are high-waisted pants. I think this goes really well together as a casual outfit. Obviously I don't wear this to work, but this is an example of how you can wear a pair of dress pants and make it casual. This is the last pair of the tie dye pants that I have to show you guys. These ones are my most recent pair, but they are not in the Japanese crepe fabric. This fabric is um, in the viscose, what's it called, viscose, viscose? I don't know what it's called, but on the website, the name of these pants are called the tie front check pants instead of tie front pants, I guess because of the check pattern but this fabric is thicker than the not regular Japanese crepe but it's not as thick as their wool version so I tried their wool version before in store and I found that they were a little bit itchy and they're a little bit thick so I decided to go with the, these because I think these will be great all season round because it's not that thick but it's also not that thin so I can wear these in the Canadian winters Right now, I'm pairing it with the Babaton Cal Neck Camisole. So this is an outfit that I will wear to work and if I just throw on a cardigan or a blazer. So another fun way to wear this is to pair it with the plunge front cardigan. And I love this look because again, it's a crop sweater with a high-waisted pant. So another example of how you can wear dress pants casually. to show you guys how I tie my tie front pants. I like my tie to be very much to the side and not, you know, straight sticking up. So this is how I would tie it. So I'm gonna put the longer side over the shorter side and then take the longer side and we'll wrap it around. And I like my tie to sit diagonally. I don't like, sometimes in the, on the Aritzia models or in stores, they'll tie it like this, um, but I don't really like how it looks like I don't even know how they do it but my favorite way to tie it is like this so that the tie sits diagonally and that one side is longer than the other so this is my favorite way to tie the tie front pant another way that you could tie the tie front pant is to make a bow and for this you'll need both sides to be the same length and then loop it around like how you would and then like how you loop it around like how you would normally and then yeah just tie get like a regular bow yeah this is this is pretty much <laughs> this is pretty much how i used to wear it when i first got these pants before i knew how to do the one-sided tie uh, but i don't wear it like this anymore i really like the style of one-sided tie but you can totally wear it like this and it, yeah, I feel like it gives me a really different look because for work and stuff I like to have tie on the front and then like this it just looks a little bit more you know like cute or casual. So another great thing about these tie front pants is that it's machine washable at least in the Japanese crepe fabric as well as the check pattern fabric. Um, not so much the wool but I don't have that one for that reason. But these are so great because they are machine washable and they don't wrinkle at all. You can also throw them, these in the dryer, you don't have to line dry them. I've had this pair for about three years now and I literally machine wash these on normal cycle, throw them in the dryer, normal cycle with all the heat and everything and they still are, look completely new. There's no pills at all. Literally looks like you can grab these off the rack at Aritzia and yeah, completely new, super impressed with these. Um, my first pair, I paid full price for these. I believe they're still the same price today, but I don't regret it at all because they've held up so well and I still wear them today. A really great piece to wear to work as well as casually. So 
again thank you so much for watching this i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys got inspiration on how to wear tie front pants or dress pants and these aristia pieces let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments down below and please give me a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more styling content see you in my next video bye